with five three people. Okay. I'm gonna put Terabyte in the beginning here because he is it is like the best choice. Yeah, we'll see what Pokemon it turns out to be. Watch it be like a Ditto or Magikarp. Two Pokemon, Lazy Robin. Okay, they're all lazy. Nine Tails. Okay, interesting pick. We're gonna go Corsola immediately because this seems like the best strategy right now. Also, I think we get a level up now. <laughs> uh, Gonzalez, go. I choose you. Ember! Da 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 I don't know why I'm saying random stuff now. I think I'm just too tired. That's why I'm saying random stuff. I do that a lot, you know? I'm very tired. I get very tired. It's like saying if I was very sleepy, I'm very sleepy. And also I say, oh, this floor has been a floor. Okay, apparently Ninetales either I think mean, it's just it's just Corsola, honestly. Corsola is not very strong. Hit, yep. It only did 10 damage though, so I'm not complaining. It's an effect of 5 damage, basically, from confusion. Actually it does less it does more damage than the Ember. Which is hilarious. But it's cause I resist four times, right? Dude, that's really funny, dude. That would only do 12 damage to Gonzalez, then. Level 35 terabyte, I don't believe it. Ooh, try attack. <sighs> okay. I don't mean to, to push my luck here, but if I took out Sonic. Nah. I should have taken it. I want to make it. This is what happens when I'm too tired. I make terrible life decisions. Lapras, okay. Um, this is absolutely a terabyte situation. I mean, when you have a Magnemite with Thunderbolts, or Magneton with Thunderbolts, you kind of have, you know, the ability to destroy absolutely everything. Yeah, can we talk about how Johto, or Gold and Silver and Crystal, and also Hard Gold and Soul Silver, <laughs> had the best post-game content? I mean, I think I got this from like a YouTube comment, but, but or Twitter uh, tweet, but basically, well, I mean, it's not only really basically a thing. It's because you get an entire region, which is basically double the game, and it's a throwback to the previous entry. The fact that that is actually a thing is amazing. And I'm gonna level up Garrett, hopefully, or train up Garrett a little bit. I don't know who my. Yikes! Ooh. Okay, it does. At least 24 damage in total. That's how sad that is. That does so much damage. Well, it has 24 damage, about. <laughs> that did a 23 damage, for example. Car go fast. Sure. I worry for eruption, but I expect a one shot here. Oh no. Oh, it's hard. Never mind. We're fine. We're good. Garrett's alive. And kicking. I don't really understand the expression. And kicking? Because. Kicking the bucket is a thing. So like... And kicking is like... He's living, you know? But like, kicking the bucket is like... They're kaput. Sure.
<laughs> random thing, but in one of my, because I'm watching a, I'm watching a lot of playthroughs, but uh, if you know the Runaway guys, they're actually doing a playthrough on the, the uh, uh, Secret Mana. I never played the game, but it looks really interesting, and it looks like, uh, and looks like it would be like a fun like three-player thing. But you'd have to spend lots of hours into it. Smeargle, all right. But uh, basically, one of the enemies is called a Heckhound, probably because of localization purposes and censorship. Basically, I still find that incredibly hilarious, and it's just amazing, honestly. So it's gonna have sketch. What do I want it to use? Uh, I'm just gonna kill it. Yeah, enemy smear goals, not that really not that really threatening because uh, they actually have to take one turn just to sketch. Hound Doom. This is indeed a Gonzalez moment. I honestly didn't really realize that people would use heck to censor. Like the name of the enemy. Because like typically it's called uh Well I can say it now. Hellhound. Hellhound. Well I can say it now. Uh yeah, heck was censored as you uh was used to censor hell. And uh See, I'm, I'm kind of, uh, my cheeks are going red right now because, uh, that was actually the first time I said hell. Uh, yeah. I know, character development. Uh, apologies if you are, uh, less than 13. I apologize for that. I will make sure to put in... Uh, I will make sure to put in, a, an advisory warning on this. But yeah, I don't really say the word hell yet. Or I haven't really said the word hell yet. I'm saying a lot. I'm saying a lot now, just so I can get used to it. I did not realize in a Pokemon episode I'll be using the word hell, but here we are. I am incredibly excited that I can I can do that now. My character arc has now been complete. I have grown. Hell. But I'm not really gonna use it that much. I'm just gonna use heck most of the time. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm growing. I'm a growing boy. It feels so good, but now I can say it. You know, I'm quite proud of myself for that one. But we're gonna go catch a Pokemon. Suicune! You are a Pokemon, and you are blue. Raikou Sprite is not yellow. Alright, big big gains, big gains. That's a wobble fit. I don't care about a wobble fit. It's level 40, let's catch it. What am I supposed to do to get to wobble fit? <laughs> Too late. Wait, that was 20 damage? It has so much HP! Jeez! Can I just run away from this? I can, right? The Thunderbolt. I'm probably gonna... Uh, regret this, but... Wow, oh, that's so... Destiny Bond? It has Destiny Bond? Yeah, my entire character arc has led up to this moment. To be fair, uh, Hound Doom was the one that started it, because uh, Hellhound is a thing that appears in many pieces of literature. So if I use Feature Sight, it's not gonna affect, like, because it's, it's basically an indirect attack. It's not really a direct attack, which is what indirect means, but, <laughs> uh, okay, I'm gonna actually, what do I do here? I'm going to use uh, Gwendolyn, actually, because Super Fang might actually be very useful here. 
We're at the point where Super Fang Retaliation will not do too much. Uh, we're gonna flash here, actually. Or fail, but... I don't, uh, see, I was stalling because I didn't know how much damage Future Sight was gonna do. It's doing that much, okay. We're gonna Super Fang once, maybe twice, but once we'll get to red, yeah. Okay, you can counter, uh, Super... What? I'm sorry? I did 50 damage. I'm sorry? That was unexpected. Wobbuffet is just extremely upset right now. Yeah, I, I struggled a lot with that word. Or saying the word hell, because... I don't know. It's odd, but... Now I can. And now I can sing Echo by Crusher P. Ah, it feels good, but... You know, this, this, this wall of is gonna take a long time to defeat, you know? Also, I see literature from before. I mean, pieces of media. Also, it's gonna be really funny to censor uh, hell a lot. I know I keep saying it, but... Uh, it's gonna be really funny because I used to censor it a lot, or censor myself, because I always say the H word when referring to it. Yeah, I don't really need to do that anymore, I can just straight up say it. <sighs> Wait, Wobbuffet? Wobbuffet Sprite is a Gengar? Really? Really? They couldn't have made an original Sprite for Wobbuffet? But no, they had to use the Ghost Sprite. Why? I am so confused. It is This mouth is not that big. It's not a ghost type. It's so strange, and it's a male. So let's call it. Hmm. Who is tanky, and only is tanky? Um. You know, elephant's kind of tanky. I don't know how to spell it though. So I'm gonna call it elephant. I don't know how to spell elephant. Oh, I called it elf. Oh, okay. Uh, game over. It's easy, right? Yeah. Okay, Wobbuffet, Wobbuffet was tough, but it's not as weak from the Zine. Am I gonna use Wobbuffet on my team? Of course not. Yeah, the story for the Suicune Raikou and uh, Entei is pretty cool. Yeah, we barely took any- well, I said barely took any damage, but I used Super Potion like Gwendolyn. <laughs> of course we, did, we barely took any damage. But uh, we can actually proceed onto Blackthorn now. I am not excited for what's to come because uh, by next- uh, so basically, um, this, this last session is actually going to cover me for an entire week. Uh, the first episode of the- because the previous section's episode- session's episode has not even come out yet, uh, actually. It is still the 23rd, um, the previous session is actually gonna start off tomorrow, today. Uh, Tuesday. It's gonna be Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, maybe Sunday, but I doubt it. Route 44, is this a new route because I want an encounter? Okay, encounter time. Encounter time. I was trying to move up, but but no, he won't. He won't let me hap He won't let that happen. All right, psychic kid. Psychic kid. I get it. It's funny. It's a pun. Okay, I'll stop pushing my luck. Uh. See, so I'm just gonna say that word. Instead of actually saying the word now. I know I, told, I said I wasn't gonna censor it, but since this is a Pokemon playthrough, I am gonna kinda censor it. Basically. I don't know. 
basically, it's gonna, it's gonna take me a while for me to get used to it, but eventually it'll become commonplace. I say commonplace because every time I think of the word commonplace, I think of that one anime, I just haven't watched it yet, and I don't think I ever will, because it doesn't seem that very good. It has an interesting, like, well, it has interesting romantic scenes, but, because I'm a big, uh, big guy for, uh, romantic anime. And, uh, that's probably not what you expect from someone like me. But, uh, I don't only watch romantic anime, of course. Well, I'd say of course, but that's not really something, like... That's not really something that's... Okay, I'm pretty sure this guy is on the top. Yeah. That's not really something, like... I didn't realize there was another guy here. It's not really something, like... I say, like, it's not a bad thing to just like romantic anime, basically. <laughs> That's what I'm trying to say here. But I, uh, I, uh, I just remember what I said earlier, but, uh, yeah, I watch quite a few anime genres, actually. Like, how the most inappropriate anime I watched was No Game No Life, but it was still very fantastic. Mostly because I kind of want season 2 to come out now, and I'll be stuck in that boat thing with everyone else. It is going to be a very sad life for No Game No Life fans. Because it might never happen. I mean, I also want a season 2 for many other anime, and I'll go over that very soon. Uh, now we're having an anime uh, talk right now. Very nice. Nice transition, but I think I have to actually go to the water section over there to actually get an encounter, unfortunately. So I'm gonna switch to Terabyte and go over there. I know, I use Terabyte a lot, but... Well, Terabyte's pretty good. I don't like the surfing music, but we're already in an encounter, so here it is. It's a fencer, and is. Not very good, actually. Uh, it's only a bug type. I'm out of sync, and it's probably me even more out of sync when I edit it. Cause I don't, really, I don't really watch the videos entirely. I might just kill it, actually. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna Sonic Boom though. I'll have cut. Cut is definitely an option. Uh, it's 29 damage. Ooh, it's, I'm 29, 36. 29, yeah. Um, yeah, it does 29 every time, and that is kind of sad. You know, I don't care about Pinster. I'm gonna kill it. Mostly because I don't want to get killed by Seismic Toss. Alright, we're forfeiting this encounter, and we're getting lots of XP for Terabyte. Because of course we are. Terabyte is... Her child. Is a child. And a very good child at that. Hey, you gotta admit, Terabyte's pretty good. But I gotta stop uh, using him, because uh, even though he will be quite essential to the next fight, or next gym battle, the final gym battle of Johto, I need to stop uh, using him too much. Also, we're on like episode 23 and we haven't even got to the 8th gym leader yet. Yeah, we haven't even got to the champion yet, so this is gonna take even longer than the Fire Red Random Resonance Log, like, which only took 25 episodes to finish through the champion. Not bad. If only I had a steel type move. Do I have to go to the World Islands? Pretty sure I don't. Pretty sure I can just go to... Ooh, Ice Path! I really like this cave. It's, it's really creative. Uh, I'm gonna switch to Terabyte because... Encounter. Uh...
I'm gonna use some extra pals though. Like two maybe. Uh, dupes. Dupes. Calling dupes right here. To be fair, if we just catch, keep catching Pokemon, we're gonna have dupes all the time. I swear this player isn't rigged. I swear this playthrough isn't rigged. I swear. I swear. I swear this playthrough isn't rigged. But here we are, catching a Mew with Master Ball. New PC. Okay, this one I can call it done. Not a playable unit, but... Environment 6. This kind of makes sense, actually. Alright, we can use uh, Master Pals now. Or Super Pals, sorry. That one was easy, but that's because there's nothing there. There are a lot of hidden items in WoW. So there's a Carbos in the little area. I think it's actually right here. Or not. Maybe somewhere else. Great. Yeah, not too hard. I've done this many times, so I know. Oh, hello Gonzalez, cousin from the other side, from the mother's side. From the maternal side? Don't know what the official term is. Term is. Alright, you get HMO7 over here, for some reason. Yeah, you have to get an ice path. And for some reason, that really makes me angry. Okay, now Gary actually has Waterfall. Nice. Very, very nice. Trying to figure out how to get out, but apparently it's just very easy. I can use a Max Repel because I spent many Max Repel on that uh, one section. Sorry, Super Repel. I keep forgetting that's not a Max Repel and it's Super Repel. I don't think there are any trainers here. Maybe like one or two. So very few. Uh... But yeah, they are just legitimately not that many. It's a huge puzzle, by the way. Ah, it's a strength puzzle. Alright, give me a sec, this is gonna take a while. Here. 
Dang it. Bike, what'd you do? I blame bike. I blame bike. <laughs> bike, how could this happen to me? Uh, so that's uh, pretty much just one in this hole, right? So... I have to move it to the right, yeah, of course. Yeah, I don't think you can actually stay in place and turn in directions with the bike. I think you had to move forward and push any rock in your way. Stand in place and turn, it's just very not uh, convenient. Yeah, I know I'm falling through, what of it? Okay, the first hidden is right here. I hate that. I hate that so much. Love ball. Isn't this the one that's bugged? Yeah, there's no hidden item here apparently. Which is probably why I thought this area was a bit weird. Yeah, you're actually forced to push that boulder in that area, so that's really unfortunate that the bike does that. Which is why you can't go up here and use the bike. Very unfortunate and very terrible game design actually, but it kind of makes sense. I think it was conscious, or at least it was a conscious decision. So it's fine. Oh look, we're here. That was easy. $5,000! I'll take it! <laughs> That's exactly what I refer Nuggets to anyways. Uh, we can't use Rock Smash, so... There's that. We still can get it. That's for Bug-type moves, and I'm pretty sure I don't need that. Yeah. I don't know why... Is silver powder a thing? Probably is a thing, but... Uh... okay. TM42... Don't know what that is. It's probably terrible. Hey, I was right! <laughs> right on the money. Speaking of that, I'm like, I kinda wanna play Monopoly. That's probably a weird thing to say right now, but I kinda do. There's a hidden item here, I'm pretty sure. Uh... Not in this area. In that area before- oh wait, right here, actually. What's a pink bow? I have never seen that item in my entire life. Uh, it, the $50 is not worth it. It's a raise affection or something? Really? Hmm. Yeah, I am giving that to, uh, Shuckle, because, uh, she... Moonball, hey! She kinda needs it. 
You know how some people, like, I, like, use certain balls to catch Pokemon because it's like the same color? I really enjoy that, but I don't really find myself keeping that to a T. Like, I've been doing it recently uh, when I went to the Crown Tundra because, uh... Well, I just wanted the items, also, or wanted the Pokemon, and I didn't really care what Pokeball they would go into. Self restore for PP. Does it restore all of them? Because that'd be really good for, like, a uh, Shuckle. But I am tossing X speed. Soft Sand might be helpful eventually. I don't know why I toss something for Soft Sand, because I don't really want it. Oof. That, that light flickering. Hi Mew, I caught one of you, so I don't really need another one. Sorry. I need one's higher level, actually. By one, I think. Don't worry, I'll only use one poke one legendary Pokemon at a time. Or one mythical in this case. Alright, we're here in Blackthorn City, and uh, you know what? We're actually gonna end it off here right now. Yeah, I don't know why I said it like that, but uh, next time we'll be going to uh, the Blackthorn. Actually, might be closed. I think it's closed. Might actually be closed. Oh, this is not closed because we did all that stuff. Oh, it's open now. Really? You call me run the mill. Do you know how to celebrate a Suicune and a Mew? Granted, two of them were from Master Balls and one of them is from an egg, but granted, they're still mine. Okay. Alright, so with that said, this episode is now over. With that, next episode, the gym. Alright, let's keep it short. See you guys and stay safe. I guess. But yes, stay safe, please.